dear all on november 24th i have published one video on derivation of townsend's current growth equation by considering secondary ionization process right now i have watched the video once again i could notice that the last part of the video could not complete or could not publish in a proper manner it has not been published because of some technical issues first of all regret for my inconvenience to overcome those issues i am going to re derive the expression for townsend's current growth equation by considering secondary ionization process once again before that you need to go through what do you mean by secondary ionization process so kindly watch my previous video it's already available in the playlist i have explained what do you mean by primary ionization how the secondary ionization will be taken place all the concepts i have explained clearly kindly go through once again once you completed that particular theory let us come back to the derivation for townsend's current growth equation by considering secondary ionization process as we know that the secondary ionization is due to the following reasons the first one is electron emission due to positive ion impact the second reason is electron emission due to photons and third one is electron emission due to meta stable and neutral atom the third one will be minute it, it might be negligible now we already derived townsend's current growth equation by considering primary ionization process and the expression is given by i equal to i not into e to the power alpha d please call this equation as first equation you know alpha is known as townsend's primary ionization coefficient we already defined what do you mean by alpha now let us consider the condition for secondary electrons formation and secondary ionization process the secondary electrons formed forms due to the interaction between positive ion on the cathode all right that is why second electrons will be formulated that you can underline the point now the total amount of second electrons n can be written as n not plus n plus where n not is known as electron emission due to positive ion impact similarly n plus can be redefined as electron emission due to photons so what you can do is please recall the equation number 1 i have recalled equation number 1 i equal to i not into e to the power alpha d similarly this current can be written as in terms of number of electrons movement of number of electron is known as current current is known as nothing but the flow of electrons so i can be written in terms of number of electrons i'll be calling n n stand for number of electrons n is given by n not into e to the power alpha d okay i'll be rewriting n equal to instead of i i'll be putting n n equal to n not into e to the power alpha d all right now what you can do is n can be written as n equal to n not into e to the power alpha d that is true now what you can do you already defined as the total number of second electrons formed that is given by n not plus n plus so instead of this n not you can see instead of this n not what you can write is n equal to n not plus n plus into e to the power alpha d please call this one as equation number 4 now let us consider the condition the total number of electrons reaching at cathode after completion of primary ionization is n let it be n similarly the number of secondary electrons reached from the cathode is given by n not plus n plus please recall these two concept therefore let me calculate how many number of electrons releasing to the gaseous dielectric medium that can be written as n minus n0 plus n plus all right please remember this condition so this is the total number of electrons that is releasing to the gaseous dielectric medium now let us assume each positive ion releasing gamma effective electrons from the cathode okay where gamma is known as townsend secondary ionization coefficient gamma okay now the total number of electrons the positive electrons that can be written as gamma times the to total number of electrons releasing to the gaseous medium what is the total number of electrons releasing to the gaseous medium that is given by n minus n0 plus n plus so gamma times you have to multiply with the gamma so what is going to happen gamma into n minus n0 plus n plus this is the total number of electrons releasing to the gaseous medium so gamma times this much of electrons so gamma into 
n minus n zero minus n plus. You have to elaborate the bracket. You have to clear the bracket. Remove the bracket. So you will be getting the expression like this: gamma into n minus n zero minus n plus. So please simplify the following. N plus is given by gamma can be multiplied. Gamma n minus gamma n zero minus gamma n plus. Now similar term can be clubbed each other. That means. I'll be recalling gamma n plus to LH side. So what is going to happen? N plus plus gamma n plus equal to gamma n minus gamma n zero. All right. Now what you can do is n plus can be taken as a common factor. I'll be taking n plus as a common factor. So n plus into one plus gamma that is two equal to gamma. Here I can take gamma as a common factor. Gamma will be taken into outside. So gamma into n minus n naught that is two. From here, in this, uh, in the above expression, I can rewrite n plus is given by n plus can n plus can be re rewritten separately. N plus is equal to gamma into n minus n naught divided by one plus gamma. So just just a remodification that you can directly understand. So n plus you can call equation number five. Now what you can do is substitute equation number five into equation number four. Where is equation number four? So this is the expression for equation number four. N equal to n naught plus n plus into e to the power alpha d. I already defined equation number four. Now what you can do is substitute equation number five into equation number four. Equation number five should be substituted in equation number four. So I can modify n is given by n naught plus gamma into n minus n naught divided by one plus gamma into e to the power alpha d. So please simplify above expression. You can go for cross multiplication. N is given by Uh, n zero into one uh, plus gamma plus uh, gamma into n minus n zero whole divided by one plus gamma into e to the power alpha d. Hope it is clear. Again, you can do the modification. You can remove the brackets. Uh, n naught plus n naught into one means n naught. N naught into gamma is nothing but n naught into gamma plus gamma n minus gamma n zero divided by one plus gamma into e to the power alpha d. Very simple simplification. Okay, now I have got n equal to n naught plus gamma n divided by one plus gamma into e to the power alpha d. Now what you can do? One plus gamma. You can you can see one plus gamma. This can be taken into LHS side. So n into one plus gamma equal to n naught plus gamma n into e to the power alpha d. Very simple. Now remove the brackets. N into one n n into gamma is nothing but n gamma. That is given by Uh, n naught into e to the power alpha d plus gamma n into e to the power alpha d. Now let this term be at the RH side. This term, n naught into e to the power alpha d, be at RH side. Remaining thing you can take back to LH side. N plus n gamma minus gamma n into e to the power alpha d is given by n naught into e to the power alpha d. Now what you can do is n can be taken as a common factor. I'll be taking n as a common factor. As you can observe, n will be taken as a common. So n into here one is remaining one plus Gamma minus gamma into e to the power alpha d that is given by n naught into e to the power alpha d. From this expression, I need to separate the value of n. So while separating the value value of n, you can see that n naught into e to the power alpha d this one whole divided by one plus gamma minus gamma into e to the power alpha d. Again, I can modify n naught into e to the power alpha d whole divided by One plus gamma can be taken as a common factor. Gamma into one minus e to the power alpha d. Okay, or otherwise, I have I can modify in another manner. N is given by n naught into e to the power alpha d whole divided by one minus. Here I'll be taking one minus gamma into e to the power alpha d minus one. Both are right. Either you can go for this expression or this expression is also all right. This will be the modified form. In textbooks, you can observe the expression like this in terms of number of electrons. So n can be written as n naught into e to the power alpha d whole divided by one minus gamma into e to the power alpha d minus one. So as you know that uh, movement of number of electrons that is nothing but current. Current can be written as number of electrons, flow of number of electrons. So in terms of n, I'll be replacing, I'll be replacing uh, i in terms of current, or else. The number of electrons. I'll be rewriting number of electrons in terms of current. Okay, so current can be written as this equation can be modified in terms of current. That is given by I naught into e to the power alpha d divided by whole divided by one minus gamma into e to the power alpha d minus one. So this is the expression for.
Townsend's current growth equation by considering secondary ionization process, where alpha is known as Townsend's primary ionization coefficient and gamma, this gamma is known as Townsend's secondary ionization coefficient. Townsend's secondary ionization coefficient. This question is most important. The derivation can be asked in every type of university examination as well as viva. Please keep the equation in a particular block and kindly remember. By using this equation, I already found out how to determine the breakdown condition, how to calculate the breakdown of a particular gas by using the equation. The, this equation is most important. This is very, very important. I can easily calculate when the breakdown of dielectric material will be taken place. Okay. I hope you understood the session. Please keep this equation in your mind. This many of the numerical example also can be asked based on the same equation. Finally, thanks for watching this video. Please share and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.